painting of Christopher Columbus by Ronald Anderson, commissioned by the Knights of Columbus and used on their magazine cover, Columbia. Shows one of the ships that Columbus sailed on, pointing to a map where he landed in Hispaniola. That's done by Ronald L. Anderson. Listed American artists right here locally in Litchfield. Tom will give us a little history on this wonderful uh, four poster tester bed, Tom. Uh, it's a Sheraton field bed, as it was called. The foot posts were always highly decorated, but the head posts were usually undecorated. Rather high tester on it. Bought this bed in Litchfield. This was one that was originally in the house yeah. when you bought it. Yeah. You could tell that to Bob that it came from the yeah. Thomas when I, family. When I purchased the house I'm living in now, which is right in front of the shop, I purchased the bed as well. It had been in the house for maybe 50 years at least. It's a lovely bed going back to the early 1800s, very early 1800s. We have a pencil post bed with a canopy, rather small size, either made to order for people who were not very tall or used in a, like a teenager's room. In those days people were a little shorter than they are today. Super old original. I think so, yeah. Some more of Mr. Anderson's oil paintings here. Painting of persimmons and he did fruit still lifes, oranges, grapes, apples, peaches, you name it. Some original pencil sketches Mr. Anderson did back then. Those were drawings. This particular drawing of the back nude figure was done by Anderson when he was about 17 years old at his studio in Baltimore and won the exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. How about this one up here, Tom? That's a copy of a Velasquez, one of the Spanish Enfantas or princesses. It was probably the original painting would have been in the Walters Museum in Baltimore. He did copying there in his studies. That's by Mr. Anderson also. How about the chest right here, uh, Tom? It's an American chest of drawers, cherry wood finished on the dark side, graduated drawers done in a Chippendale manner with a block front foot. A little writing desk here, Tom. One of the French antiques, what the French called a bureau plot or a desk with ormolued wood and inlaid marquetry and parquetry throughout. It's finished in the round leather top. Close up of that corner there, Bob. There's a parquetry inlay. French made elegant furniture and they like curves. The French didn't care for straight lines too much. A lot of quality. More plates here and 
another uh, Chinese bowl. In the plates there were a set of 12, they were King of Prussia in pattern, and there were 12 salad or cake plates as well. Lovely old American pattern.